everyone, welcome back. Okay, let's get cracking. In this problem, it says, what is the composition in atom percent of an alloy that consists of 30 weight percent zinc and 70 weight percent copper? So I have the weight, but I want now the number of atoms, in the, or at least the percentage of atoms. Well, we're gonna need some information to do this. First off, we'll need the atomic weight of copper. We'll need the atomic weight of zinc. And yeah, that's actually pretty much it. So let's look these up and figure out what it is. Well, for zinc, what I get is that its atomic weight is 65.41 grams per mole. And for copper, that would be 63.55 grams per mole. You can look those up online, or if you want to, you can just check your book. It should have a nice little periodic table for you. Now I want to find the composition in atom percent. So my equation in this case, and I'm not going to do a derivation because it's in the book, but an equation in this case would be the composition percent of zinc, atom percent, is going to be my weight composition in weight times the atomic mass of copper all over composition of zinc times atomic mass of copper plus composition of copper times atomic weight of zinc. Okay, that's all times 100. If I plug things in, what I get is 30, yes, this is in percentage here, times 63.55 grams per mole, all over 30, times 63.55 grams per mole plus 70 times 65.41 grams per mole. Okay, now with that, with that I can plug it in and what I get is 29.4 atom percent. Also since there's only two components and they have to add to 100, I can skip plugging this all in again and just say 100% minus 29.4% is going to be equal to 70.6%. And that would be the atom percentage for copper. So in this case, it's actually very, very similar. It is not always the case, though. It is not always the case that they're so similar. Sometimes the atom percent and weight percent are very, very different. So make sure you look at this equation, see how I did it, so you can follow along in other problems. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.